Welcome back to another Lady of the House episode. Today is Saturday and it's a different kind of Saturday because um, the kids spent the night last night over at my mother-in-law's house. So it was nice because it, you know, just gave us some peace and quiet last night. Although we did go out on a date, which was nice as well. And then today, Jorge and I were just going over, you know, our bills and just different goals that we have. So that was one of the things that we've been working on. And then I was also getting some desk work done and I know on a Saturday, right? But sometimes you just need peace and quiet to be able to think. I'm so grateful you chose to join me today. I want to welcome you if you are new and invite you to subscribe. Thank you to my returning subscribers for your support, your kind comments, along with each like and share, which continues to inspire me. This video was brought to you by our patrons and all those who've purchased from the Inspired by Nikki store. A huge thanks is extended especially to you. As a lady of the house, I hope you enjoy my autumn diary and feel inspired to make the everyday beautiful. Um, I also have this bag here that I had started putting together of gift cards and um, vouchers for things like in and out and just all different kinds of things that I put in here for like a day that I would want to go do something and have you know like use the cards it's just one of those things that you don't always keep these things in your wallet because it just makes your wallet so big or you end up forgetting about it anyway so I don't know, it would be fun to like have a day where you pick out different things that you're going to do and just go and do those things with your gift card. So um, that's something that I'd like to mark on my calendar to do as well. But um, that's really it. And I have some stuff that I want to do to get my house ready for an easy rest of the weekend as well as week to come because we are having um we're going to be eating here after services in the morning so well it'll be the afternoon by the time we get back so i have a roast to put in the crock pot and i will just i guess i'll just wake up really early to do that on sunday i was considering doing that today and then just having it done but i don't want to put it in the fridge which is really full right now and all of that so i'm just going to wake up really early and do that in the morning and probably just put it on high like the six four to six hour instead of the there's an eight and ten hour option on there so i'll probably do the six hour option and then that way we will have dinner ready when we come back home and then monday night we are having our whole family come over we're going to celebrate like all the birthdays and you know we had four birthdays that we need to celebrate right there so just a lot to come and having this day is really nice to just um, be in my head about everything and just uh, try to organize everything. I've actually been really distracted and kind of all over the place. So what I just want to do is focus and then see how much I can get done before we are going to be going over to my friend's house today because it's my friend's birthday and we were invited to go to her party she's turning 40 it's like a big deal and so um before that though i want to get all of this stuff done she had actually invited me to come over if i wanted to but i mean their house is all the way across town and she even said that would be a lot of driving yeah i'm not going to spend my day like you know like this one day that i have with no kids to uh, be driving all over the place because that's just stressful enough. Um, something that I've actually been trying to do more and more has been to really limit myself, especially like when it comes to friends because, um, and hear me out, and it's not just friends, it could be anything. It could be different things that you feel you're obligated to do or whatever. It's really choosing your time wisely because what ends up happening is you end up feeling really stressed later on if you devote too much time to say hanging out with friends because i feel that you're always going to have those that would be happy to spend 
all this time with you no matter what but then that puts you in a tough situation if you give in to all of that if you say oh yes i'm gonna spend all this time because we have this time together and isn't life supposed to be about spending time with one another yes and no because we also have to know ourselves we also have to know that okay if i don't spend this amount of time working then i'm going to be so stressed later on in the week so i've just been trying to get a lot better at that not um you know say i have this amount of time i'm not going to spend the whole amount of time hanging out with a friend i need to cut it at this amount of time so that i have this much time to devote to those things that i need to do anyway you know what i'm saying i mean it, this is just basic basic um time management so i have many times allowed myself to not manage my time wisely and then i regret it later on so that's just something i've been focusing on more recently as well it's like you constantly have to get back to that you feel yourself sliding back you know into old habits and then you need to get back on track so that's what i'm trying to do um i always love when jorge and i sit down to do our finances together and talk about our goals i think that you know as a couple that's really important to do and um it just helps you see because usually there's one person who's pretty much who dominates when it comes to taking care of the finances right they're the person that pays the bills or you know handles all the money and then there's another person that's so much happier to sit back and not do um all of that not figure out you know when things need to be paid or deal with the incoming things etc maybe they're not as organized but still i think that it's so important to have like a financial meeting um as frequently as possible that way both parties especially if you're talking about like a joint income and stuff that way both parties can see what's going on everybody's informed etc i think that that's basic too but um that's about it. So right now what I want to do is to straighten up the rest of my room. I already made my bed and stuff. And then I want to focus on the kitchen, getting um, like my, I really want to get my refrigerator in order. And then um, I had a video that I wanted to film for the week to come, but I might end up just filming that either tomorrow or Sunday, but I'm tomorrow is Sunday, tomorrow or Monday. I'm really excited about filming this, but I have these other things that I want to focus on today. So, I mean, we'll just see how far I can get with all the work that needs to go on today. So let's get started with taking care of our home. I know that if this is something that you struggle with, I hope that these videos help you in some way, just motivate you maybe, because we don't always feel like doing all the things, right? But sometimes we just need a little motivation. So sometimes just taking out the camera is my motivation when I'm not feeling up to it. Um, or like I just need to focus because I can definitely get really distracted with all the many things so okay first things first let's start in the room get everything where it needs to go um i'm also going to be starting jorge's laundry today and then um the kitchen and it's one of those situations where it's not like a ton of things are out of place or that needs to be done like the kitchen doesn't even have dishes because before the kids left they you know handled the one who was on dish duty did dishes but there are just a few things in there that I want to make sure to handle and then even in here I've been just trying to do different things this is Jorge's towel um, my apron of course but these are the items that I'm going to be sharing in my video for um, the wardrobe video to come that I need to film. So I'm just kind of leaving that out right now, but I need to put some other things away.
gifted to me by the owner. She um, was willing to work with me because I had reached out to her after one of my subscribers told me about this company and it just caught my attention and so when I searched it, even her phrase that she has on there, timeless dresses to make the everyday more beautiful, really stood out to me of course because that is how I think about the everyday. So anyway, I really wanted to share this dress with you because I found it to be so stunning and um, just perfect for the everyday, really. If you are looking for like that really great house dress or everyday dress, I think that this is the dress for you. It's so cute and um, it is a complete wrap dress. So um, there's two sashes, you wrap one through and then the other one around, you know, give it a little tie here and it has very generous pockets and guess what i got a discount code for you and that is inspired by nikki i will have it linked in my description box as well as the um, website so that you can go over there and pick out yours today if you would like but what's also really great about it are just all the beautiful feminine details on this. I love the ruffle right here, as well as the pleating right up here at the top. It has nice coverage, but also offers a lot of breathability. It's 100% cotton. And um, the length of it is just, you know, just right. So um, this is a 40 inch length if you are wondering but she has all that information on her website as well so um no this video is not sponsored but this was gifted to me and let me tell you her their customer service is impeccable as well as just the little touches so i am a person that really appreciates a beautifully wrapped package and everything and that is what this company offers, as well as so many little extras that I just think make the everyday more beautiful. So I'm just so happy to be um, working with her on this and um, that she was willing to partner with me to share this dress with you. Also, just learning about the company was really interesting. Um, so much of what she stands for, I really identified with and related to and so it just made me that much more excited to share this company with you and there she has a few dresses over there so please go and check that out she's a smaller company and I just think that you all would be so happy with with what there is that she has to offer so anyway that's the dress of the day that I wanted to share with you and I look forward to wearing this for years to come. Oh, something else that is really great about this is that it's lined and the crossover on this is nice and heavy crossover. So, I mean, can't we use all the crossover when it comes to a wrap dress? This is also a nursing friendly dress. So it has this hook here that you can unhook and then have easy access which is really important. It's also something that one could wear while pregnant, I believe. So um, just an all around great dress and very versatile. So soon are we back in the office because I am just very unmotivated. I can't even get myself to do anything, anything anymore today. I'm ready to go to the party and just relax with friends. Um, Jorge and I went to my mother-in-law's house and I needed to do the girl's hair there 
my daughter called me, really wanted me to come and do her hair before they left because they're going to be going somewhere with my sister-in-law. So yeah, we dropped Ivan off with some of his friends because he has some plans today. And then we came back here and just like watched a little growing up animal show on Disney Plus and um, I ended up falling asleep. I think Jorge did for a little bit too. I mean, it wasn't a long nap, but you know, I would dozed off here and there. So I've just been tired and, and unmotivated. Sometimes we are. Um, one of my subscribers gave me this book called The Joy of Less, A Minimalist Guide to Declutter, Organize, and Simplify. And this is by Francine J, Miss Minimalist. The, the um, book itself is really nice and I already started it so that will be a joy to read and I always love those you know downsizing minimalist decluttering kind of books but um, just always seeing someone else's take on it and you know what what they have to say about it but um, I think a good thing for me to do right now since I'm just not filling up to cleaning and it's not like it's really necessary for me to do that right now I mean why would I want to do that with my free time when none of the kids are here right um, I think I'm just going to turn on some music, paint. Maybe I could actually get my seasonal painting done. I think I'll do that. So at least something will be getting done. You know in those times where you just don't feel up to doing anything else? Do something that just brings you joy.
completely done with this just yet. I'm going to sit with it for a while and then we'll see. We shall see. All right, so this is how it turned out. I feel like these are a little, a little undone looking, so I might do a little bit more painting on those. But I like the way the rose turned out, um, especially the leaves. Leaves are always a favorite of mine to do. So at least I got something done. So when you're not motivated, please let me know what do you like to do to just I guess spend your time like how do you like to spend your time um, I guess for me it just always feels like I feel worse when I'm not getting something when I'm not progressing I always feel worse so even though I found something to do to like that was relaxing for me it's still part of my work as well and I will possibly I don't know if you can even see this on there Come on. I will possibly turn this into some stationery. So I look forward to that. I'm wondering if I should gild it. I don't know how well that'll turn up on uh, the stationery though, you know, so I probably won't do that. But it's just nice to have something like this done. So I'll work on that some more later, possibly. This is my child size apron right here and I was going to sell it but I think I'll keep it for my girls. Anyway, I need to get um, my friend's card written up and then we're going to have to leave. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Please let me know in the comments below what is your favorite feature about this dress and also do you plan on purchasing it? So until next time, I hope that you all take care and have a beautiful day. Bye everyone.